Declaring Herbert the public hearing, the President of the Senate noted that countries with less fertile land and less potentials in agriculture have taken the lead in agro-export and that Nigeria with vast arable soil is determined to be a key player. The establishment of a specialized institution like this is not just a challenge, it is an opportunity. An opportunity to reclaim our legacy as a global agricultural powerhouse. Agriculture offers a remarkable opportunity for economic diversification of this country because of availability of arable lands across the country. When signing the law, the Federal University of Agriculture and Tropical Studies, Iraguji, will serve as a hub of excellence in agricultural research, education, and extension services. We must invest in education and training and retraining of our youth to equip them with the knowledge and skills necessary to harness this potential. The policy incubation of agriculture cannot be adequately captured. When within the policy making body of this university, you don't have anybody representing the federal ministry of agriculture. The institution will also offer comprehensive training on theoretical and practical aspects of agricultural services, which include crop production, livestock, agricultural economics, and environmental sustainability. I can now let our field committee of the Senate, presided over by Your Excellency Distinguished Senator Simon Lalong, and all committee members for the successful public hearing. Stakeholders were in agreement that agriculture is vital not only to economic growth but to national transformation. From the National Assembly, Joshua Gujri, NT News.